Hey, Tegan from Woodlands, Rodents and Reptiles. Just taking a couple minutes to show off my plant tank. Now, as you can see, there's several species of plants in here. A um, few orchids, but a lot of them are just sort of random tropical plants. Uh, the tank's been going for about two years or so, and I'm always adding another miniature plant, you know. Every once in a while, another small little fern or something like that goes in there. Getting a couple new bromeliads soon. have some uh, small fish as you can see in the water feature here these are uh, white clouds they hatched right here had to uh, move the parents over into this toad tank just because the father or the male is really bullying the babies and he ate a couple of the young ones so I just take them out but now they're all doing pretty good it's about six in here And this red cluster here is actually uh, this orchid in the back. This orchid right here, these are all its roots coming off, going into the cork bark and such. This large leaf up there, that's one of its leaves, and another one growing up next to it. And this is actually one of its flower spikes. This is another one of its flower spikes before the red berries have grown on it. This is what it looks like after all the red berries have grown on it. Well, they're flowers, not berries, but uh, however you want to look at it. In a few more days, these are all going to burst, like split down the middle and open up. On the inside, they're full of fibers that push out a few little seeds, maybe three or four little seeds each one. So what I'm going to do is take a small bag, a little gold bag here, I'm going to just put it on top of that, seal it up most of the way, and just let the little seeds fall into that. And uh, I intend on capturing the seeds with the bag and attempting to sow them. You never know, hopefully they'll sprout for me. And right down here you can see the next to it is that begonia thalme, the little white and yellow flower. On this, these leaves here, it's finally flowering again. It's been dropping them all over the place. There's one sitting in the water there. And it's flowering there and over in the back. Back corner, it's flowering a little bit. And this is just powdered fish food to feed the isopods, and millipedes, springtails. I took out a whole bunch of that sea. Amazonica stuff was nuts just growing all over the place through it in a glass all glass tank I have behind me because it's going to be the home of a uh, crested gecko so it's going to get really jungly and they love that it was a little too intense for this miniature oriented tank so it had to go um, the waterfall in the back <laughs> can't even really see it anymore but uh, believe it or not this whole whole thing back here is a big waterfall. It's one of those uh, green plastic repti filters. Just 
real basic. I have one in the toad tank there. It's one of those, and I just encased it in uh, spray foam, then doused it in silicone, put sand and dirt mix on it. Now just moss and vine took to it like crazy. Ferns love growing on it. Can't even really tell. It's only like over here you can see a little bit of the spray foam. And the cord has been taken over by the vines as well. Got a lot of java moss and other things. Just kind of whatever moss I can get my hands on. Rickia, java moss, it, it goes in there. Getting a couple more Talandias in the mail as well, so I'm gonna be able to put them up. A friend is lending me his monsoon unit, so I'm gonna put that to work in this tank and see if it uh, can support some bromeliads up here on the cork bark. Um, yeah. I think that's about it. I got a little orchid in the back here. Oh, this is a 30 gallon tall, by the way. For anybody who really cares. This is the all glass tank I was talking about just before we sign out here. Got a bunch of just different mosses and such in here, but then I just take all the Begonia Thelme and Amazonica cuttings and I just toss them in here. They're all taking root and stuff. I just need them to grow up the back and stuff. And I can release a crestie or two in here. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smack up that like button and uh, see you next time. Peace.